live from San Francisco, it's theCUBE, covering Google Cloud Next 19. Brought to you by Google Cloud and its ecosystem partners. Hello everyone, welcome back to theCUBE coverage here live in San Francisco for Google Cloud Next 2019. I'm John Furrier, my co-host Dave Vellante, Stu Miniman's also here doing interviews out, getting stories and reporting them. We've got two great guests here, Praveen Palai, who's the global head of industry solutions for retail at Google Cloud, and Richard Soldenberg, who's the digital workspace manager at GAN. Thanks for coming on theCUBE, appreciate it. Thank you for having us. So, we, we've been talking about, we just talked about security. You know, the devices now can have a key inside the Android device. We're a big G Suite user, productivity is really important, but the IT world has changed. So how is that all coming together? What's, what's the big story? You know, retail is an incredibly important sector for us, and G Suite is a very important uh, product suite for retailers. We're seeing a lot of adoption of G Suite from uh, different kinds of retailers around the world. They're coming to us to solve some very specific challenges they face. Uh, they want to reduce or eliminate the information silos they have in their organization. They want to be able to foster and improve communication and collaboration uh, within the organization. And they want to get rid of uh, innovation processes they have in the organization. So we're very excited to see the adoption that we, uh, we have with retailers coming onto G Suite. And the retail, obviously, there's a lot of dynamics going. It's very data driven. Huge opportunity. What's your story? What's your relationship with Google? You as a customer, what's, what's your implementation? Well, we have been using uh, G Suite for quite some time. We have uh, been using it since 2010, I think. Uh, from the beginning, it was more of a, a consumer product uh, back then when we started using it. But uh, today, it's uh, really enterprise friendly and we can use it in all uh, aspects of our business, especially out to, uh, to retail as well. It's interesting to see how the cloud is kind of changing shape of G Suite, like just the connected sheets is interesting. You now have BigQuery on the back end, turn that basic interface into a full on global scale data warehouse. This is kind of the, 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 the story here this week, is to give more power to the edge, whether it's retail or, and not compromise any of the productivity suite. Is Absolutely, that... there's so much data in the retail organization today, and uh, with G Suite, we're able to bring that access to that data and insights right down to every single uh, worker within the organization, whether they're in the headquarters or whether they're in the, they're in the store. For example, a store associate now has access to insights about the consumer that they can use to proactively service that consumer a lot better than they could have in the, in the past. And that's where G Suite is starting to shine now for, for retailers. So retail obviously is an industry with a heavy disruption scenario. Um, you mentioned some of the challenges, Praveen, sort of data silos, and, and, and you want to put data at the heart of your organization. So how are you competing in retail today, specifically in, at Gantt, and then how is Google sort of helping you transform and be the disruptor versus the disruptee? Well, one of the things that's, um, that works well for us is just the speed in which we can set up new markets. Um, because we use so, as much um, um, cloud tools as we do, so we can set up a new market in minimum time, time just by, uh, they only need internet access and that's it. So it gives us an edge uh, in that sense. Tell, tell the audience more about Gantt and then and, and So Gantt is a, content. has quite a heritage. It's, uh, it's an old company. We was formed in uh, 1949 on the American East Coast actually in yeah. uh, New Haven, Connecticut. Right. Um, and um, we moved the business to uh, Sweden, Stockholm, where I'm from. Uh, in the 80s, so, yeah. so, but we used to be one of the biggest uh, shirt makers in the 50s and 60s, and there's a lot of innovation in the Gantt shirts. That, uh, yeah. like and the locker loop. Do you know about that? Yeah, okay. yeah, that's a Gantt. Uh, oh, pattern. no kidding! Yeah. I didn't know that. Oh, thank you. All right. <laughs> I'm, have to, I'm, I'm looking at the site right now. I'm looking at some good stuff. So yeah, re yeah, oh, retail is an incredibly important industry for us in, in Google Cloud. And you, you touched on this, you know, retail is going through so much transformation and disruption right now. And what we're seeing is retailers are really striving to transform the entire business across all parts of the retail value chain. And we believe that technology and cloud computing is a big part of that transformation journey, which is why we're very excited to launch you know, Google Cloud for Retail, which is a suite of solutions that addresses specific business challenges retailers face. And uh, this is actually a collection of solutions that are both built by Google Cloud, like Vision Product Search, Recommendations AI, um, and also from our uh, ecosystem of technology and SI partners, uh, solutions like intelligent inventory, targeted digital marketing, or demand forecasting. So we're very excited to bring technology to our retail consumers and help them in their transformation journey. 
Well, it's great you got a customer here. Ricard, I would like to get, ask you kind of, a, kind of a work question. What do you do on a day-to-day -day basis? What is your job function? Because IT is certainly changing. The, work the workforce is going digital. The innovation certainly on, the, on your product side that you yeah. sell, the clothing. But you got to run it all. How you, what's, what, what's, your, what's your role? What are you doing on a day-to-day -day basis? What I try to do is to like optimize collaboration between, between us between the uh, main company and the subsidiary companies and all the, out to the retail and the stores uh, to get people to just do, to move as fast as possible because that's, Gantt's motto is never stop learning uh, and that's something that we try to live by from day to day uh, and that's a big part of it, this collaboration and speed. That's our main issue. What's the core problem that you got, you're trying to solve? What's, uh, what's the challenge, the opportunity that you're going after? Just more human to human, Inventory, is it just, I mean, what are, what are some of the core challenges that you're trying to solve and turn them into opportunities? Well, the, um, let's see, it's just getting people on board to have a new way of thinking when it comes to technology and, and uh, not be stuck in old ways. But we're kind of trying to foster a ever continuous change in, in the, uh, IT, from an IT perspective. So instead of doing big uh, releases of new technology, we're always trying to just keep it flowing and doing changes all the time. And that's something that our users are very used to uh, working in that way, which is, yeah. I mean, data is critical in this whole yeah. equation. And you know, it's sort of alluding to earlier, a lot of successful companies these days, Google being one of them, puts data at the core. In 1949, you weren't putting data in the core. It might have been a manufacturing plant or, <laughs> you know, right. <laughs> so, Punch so, cards. So, but, and we conceptually we can see, okay, we can draw the picture of putting data at the core and putting people around it. And, but what does that mean from a practical standpoint? How are you using data uh, at Gantt? And again, I'm interested in how Google is helping and, and if, if you can be specific in the context of G Suite, that would be helpful as well. Uh, well we are using data from the very beginning of the process because our end product is a very analog product, it's a shirt, but the first step from the design department and all the data surrounding sizes, colors and everything, so it is data from the beginning to sales figures in the end, definitely, and we try to, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Praveen, talk about the challenges around um, cloud and the opportunities that, uh, the challenges customers have in retail as Dave mentioned, data's killer opportunity, but it also could be a double-edged sword. It could actually cut you the other way. I mean, if you're not managing the data, because the user experience is number one. So Absolutely. you have to have access to data. You have discovery mechanisms in place to know when the right data to mix with the right data, knowing which profiles to look at, all kinds of things going on that's really data-driven. What have you found in the industry to be uh, a, a correct direction or best practice for retail? Because the difference between getting it right and wrong could be literally one data point. Absolutely. So share yeah, your thoughts. Data is hugely important, and I think capturing the right data in your ecosystem is the starting point, right? So we talk about machine learning and AI all the time, but really that starts with the foundation of strong data sets. So one of the things we work with retailers on every time we have relationships and partnerships is, let's identify the challenges you want to solve for, and let's figure out what data you have in your ecosystem that we need to bring together to set the stage for solving that problem, right? So whether, if it's thing like, things like demand forecasting, you need to start with capturing inventory information in real time first. So maybe your supply chain has some level of tracking of your uh, inventory, but then let's look at in store. How do we capture real time inventory flow within the store? There's lots of new technologies to help you do that now. And we build that data set, that foundation with the, with the retailer, and then we take them to the next step of you know, infusing machine learning and other capabilities. And machine learning is only as good as the data. Bad data in is bad machine learning, bad AI. So exactly. getting data right at the beginning versus going in and cleaning it later yep. is a incredibly, huge issue. Incredibly important. And uh, it's, it's something that retailers have to focus on and make it a priority uh, to have, to capture the right data, the right clean data, as yep. you said. So the big theme this week that we've been talking about is old way, new way. And you're seeing all kinds of old techniques, whether it's perimeter-based security or data warehouses, now moving to a whole new modern era and you guys are kind of leading the charge there. So if you guys could comment about what you think the biggest misconception is for people not understanding this new way, using data, using a lot of big scale applications in the cloud, having microservices and cloud native techniques, a whole new way of building apps, a whole new way of workspace collaboration is changing. What is the big misunderstanding that people on the old side of the world aren't getting that before they move over? What's the? Yeah, you know, one of the common misconceptions I see is that they believe it's all or nothing. You don't have to take 
everything at once. There's a journey that you can map for yourself based on where your organization is in, in the maturity curve and the understanding and capabilities that we have from a technology perspective. So what we work with, uh, with our customers on is really identifying where are they at and what is important to them and how can we craft a journey that's specific to their business to take advantage of cloud and the technology that we have and the solutions that we have. And it may be different for everybody, but that's what we're here for, to work with them closely okay. to do that. Rickard, any comment on your end on misconceptions people might have that haven't moved yet over to the new way? <laughs> Is it just <laughs> Well, everyone has <laughs> their legacy applications <laughs> and legacy systems, but I think that now it's pretty obvious that everything yeah. should move into the cloud, both for security reasons and just practical reasons. I think that's the way to go. Yeah. Paint a picture for us. I mean, I like this journey you know, concept. It's a good metaphor. And we had uh, uh, Amy Loki on uh, yesterday. We were talking kind of the future of work. And I was sort of envisioned, okay, I want to be work faster smarter, I want to be more collaborative, I want you know, to be secure. But that's kind of the frontline worker. What you were talking about, Praveen, is this whole back-end data model as well, integrating that with the front-end. So, and then maybe there's some specific things in, in retail, in specific use cases. So, I'm interested if you could paint a picture of sort of the vision of the digital workplace that you're, you're building and that journey that you're on. What's that look like? Well, less uh, local servers is one big thing, and just flexibility in how you work and how you can access uh, on any device. That's a very important thing for us. It always uh, should be able to work on the move, and as I said, be able to set up a new market super quick. We can do online training via Hangouts, for example, and we can do meet people digitally instead of traveling. That's a big thing for us. We recently set up a new office in Hong Kong, uh, and I didn't even go to Hong Kong for that. Uh, we just made sure that they have a good internet connection and that's it, and they are up and running. So. Yeah. Yeah. Anything you'd add to that, Praveen? Absolutely, you know, when we talk about G Suite adoption, you know, some of the common uh, use cases that Ricard talked about already about just enabling better communication and collaboration is one thing, but then think of the next step in the journey, right? If, if they're centralizing their data on Google Cloud, so they data like inventory data, both from their uh, supply chain but also from, from in-store captures, now they can use that data and plug it into some sort of a clienteling application that's integrated with G Suite, where the store associate has very quick understanding of what real-time inventory they have. As the customer comes in and asks for something, they're able to very quickly respond to that customer without having to go back and check in the back of the store or on the shelf, because that information is available to them right on their fingertips. With a combination of G Suite, but also the data that's flowing into G Suite. Right, right. Rieger, as a customer of Google, what's your impression of uh, Google Next this year? What's your, what's your impression? I think it's amazing. It was a lot bigger than I thought it would be. Uh, I, this is still uh, overwhelming to take in. <laughs> it's really interesting. I met a lot of interesting people and have a lot of good talks with people around here and uh, a lot of good information from uh, potential customers or partners to us. And so Contents on message with the enterprise, digital transformation, but real meaty deep dive yeah, sessions, exactly, yeah. experts uh, around. Yeah, it's a lot of good stuff here. Praveen, your thoughts on the show? It's incredible, every time I come to, this is my fourth Google Cloud Next, and every time I come here, it's just incredible to see the passion that we uh, see from the attendees, and it's growing so tremendously every single year, and uh, we're, we can't be more excited to have all these customers here sharing and learning from each other. In your opinion, what's the most important story that people should pay attention to coming out of Google Cloud Next? What's the high order bit, your, what's your opinion? I'll, I'll be biased, it's, it's, it's our focus on industries. <laughs> right? uh, Tom has talked about it quite a bit. Uh, we're very much focused on key industries and trying to solve challenges faced by our customers in those industries, and we're bringing solutions to market that addresses uh, the, the biggest uh, focus they have for their business. Rickard, shopping's important these days, even for men and women. What's some shopping tips that we can share, inside information from, can, from the data? For, for me, for even me, for, for men, that's beautiful. <laughs> I, mean, I love to shop. You, for it. <laughs> you can never go wrong with a bike. I'll, I'll never, I'll never wear a tie on stage, no, 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 all day. No, I got my pink tie. tie on today. <laughs> You'll never go wrong with a white uh, button-down Oxford shirt. That's my only tip. Okay, and some chinos maybe? Chinos. Chinos well. are hot. Yeah, yeah. We have a lot of those. All right, Rickard, thanks for coming on. Thanks for sharing your story. Thank you very for much. Being. Thanks for coming on. Cube Thank coverage here. Us. We're talking it all. Clothing, Cube, data, all here in the Cube. We're on the ground floor. I'm Jeff Roy, Dave Vellante, more CUBE coverage after this short break. Ah!